Hey gang, welcome back. It is Cameron Cowboy here with another video. Today we are going to be playing Iron Throne yet again, as always. So, what I want to be talking to you about, ladies and gentlemen, tonight on this beautiful night is our troops and our troop formations and how to set up your troops to defend your citadel. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you will notice I only have 7,000 traps. So, you can tell I don't really care about my traps, but I do. But I'm not going to talk to you about them today because I don't really care about them. So, let's talk troops. So, I mentioned in a previous video that level 40 gear has a 1,000% uh, stat bonus against tier 1 and tier 2 troops. Now, I've been told that because you don't want to have your tier 1 and tier troops existing, because if you get attacked, well, all your tier 1 and tier 2 troops die, and they go to the hospital first, and they take up march, uh, they take up hospital capacity. Well, you're just screwing yourself over with that regard. So the first thing you want to do with your uh, troops once you get above tier three and beyond is you want to go ahead and get rid of all of your tier one and tier two troops. They are absolutely useless. So moving on, my tier three troops. So we notice I have a half a million T3 infantry, a million T3 archers almost a million T3 cavalry and 2 million T3 siege. So, you'll notice I'm extremely, extremely heavy on the siege and heavy on the archers. Here is some explanation behind my madness. So, all my best gear supports my archers. Now, my gear is only on attack, it is not on defense. So, 1 million, that number is solely just a number that I want to start working towards. Ignore it. You want to have as many troops as possible. But what I did with the siege and why it's so high compared to everything else has a reason. And you'll notice that as well in the tier force. So in order to create yourself a um, trap account, what a trap account is, is it's a tra uh, account that is so strong on defense that it cannot be killed and the power of the account does not look high enough to actually be a trap. So what you do in order to get this is you get a lot of T3, T4, and T5 siege because siege has leverage over all troops. So when you get attacked, your enemies are going to be marching in, they're walking in, they're like, hi, we're going to here, we're here to attack. And then your guard captain leads the march with all of your, your troops. So all my T3 infantry, all my archers, all my cavalry, they're all running into battle. And then my all my siege are sitting in the back and they're just launching. They're just killing all of these troops. So you want a meat. You want a meat shield. All of the troops that I have in T3 and T4 that are just meat are there to keep my siege alive long enough so that my siege can survive the battle. Now, the more siege you have, the more battles you can survive before finally giving in to your stronger opponent. Now, equipment that you want to be utilizing with this type and with any type of defense is going to be Majestic and Guardian. Guardian is your level 30 gear, and Majestic is your level 40 gear. This is the best defensive equipment one can wear and utilize in order to create a solid, strong defensive account. Now, you always want to leave that Majestic and your Guardian hero attached as your Guardian captain, your Guard captain, and your Guard deputy. This gives you the best possible percentage in your defense in order to survive and prosper and that's all we want to see now moving forward you'll notice that a lot of my troops and my troop counts dwindle down strongly from t3 onto t4 and t5 this is because the absolute cost in craft these troops and train these troops is so high i can train a quarter million troops at a time and it ends up taking 30 days to train troops why have i not done this well my research is honestly a lot cheaper to do to give me those percentage increases rather than training troops. I am not worried about attacking right now. I am living under a bubble, so I don't need to focus on training troops. I have yet to focus on training troops too much, and I will probably not continue to focus on training troops until I am ready and I have finished the research and I am satisfied with where I am. Before moving on to Citadel 30, I will probably mass train a lot of troops. So. T5's pretty low. However, I do have a solid amount of numbers in my infantry, 
archers and cavalry. Now, infantry and archers, the reason for that is because I can utilize some of those troops on attack in case I were to burn out of my T6s. I've just unlocked T6s. T6s are extremely, extremely expensive to train. When I'm talking a quarter million, I'm talking about a million of each resource um, for each 1,000 troops I'm training. So they're extremely expensive to go ahead and train. So I have fairly low numbers across the board of my T6s. Now my T7s, I do not even have the Citadel level to uh, train these troops. I have only acquired them through the Gold Rush event. Now, I will show you the Gold Rush event in a later video. However, this is how you want to set up your troop formations. So, on attacking, when I go to attack, I want to set up, I will show you here in a second. You want to focus your troops based on how you focus your equipment and your attacking heroes. So while I wait for Nox to slowly load, we will go ahead, we will find just a chaotic stronghold just to demonstrate what we are looking at here. So when I go to um, send my troops, I have my guard that I'm sending. He is the archer. He has the little archer symbol in the top left. Then I'm going to click on the right. I'm going to click on my backup archer guard. And then I'm going to utilize a preset archer troop. So if you click this, it will automatically select those troops. So if I click uh, click on cavalry, it will automatically only target my cavalry troops in the highest tier before moving down and adding more cavalry. If you do not have enough uh, cavalry for your entire march capacity, you can click fill empty slots and it would fill the rest of the slots with your next best tier troops. I have enough troops, I do not need that, but I always leave it clicked on just in case I forgot I did something stupid and now I'm only sending 30,000 uh, uh, archers because I ran out of all of my other archers. And rather than filling up my march with infantry and cavalry, I'm only sending 30,000 troops. I've done that in Team Deathmatch way too many times, so I have learned my lesson and now I just click that fill empty slots. So this is what I can utilize for attacking. Now, moving forward with defense, again, we want to be heavy on the siege. But we also don't want to neglect our troops. If you do not have an extra set of guardian or majestic equipment, what you want to focus on with your uh, troops would probably be utilizing the troop that your guard deputy would be utilizing in the heavy quantities. So let's say my guard deputy was wearing conqueror gear. Conqueror gear is for infantry. I would then want to be extremely heavy on infantry. That's what I used to do. So I was heavy on infantry before I got into archers and started training a lot of my archers. Now, where will I be effective with the amount of siege that I want? Well, a good number to have as a baseline stat for about a 200 million power player is probably going to be about 3 million T3 siege. And then just train as many other troop types that you can and as many quantities as you can, probably looking around a million of each type of T3. So, a million T3 infantry, a million T3 archers, and a million T3 cavalry with three million T3 siege. Since I'm a higher level, I'm a higher power player, I probably want about nine million T3 siege before I'm fully satisfied. So, I hope all of you have learned a little bit about troop formations. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there in the middle. Also, if you want to get this game, there is the link to download the game. Go ahead and utilize that link. You get a whole bunch of awesome rewards for doing so. You can come join Kingdom 50 with me. Also, when you do uh, download the game using the link, please follow up with me just so I can make sure that you do actually get the rewards that you want. Um, just want to make sure there are no errors um, because the that link only works on first-time downloads. So if you tried the game for a day but you want to get back into it, just go ahead and hit me up in Discord or Line. Both of those links are in the description of this video. And Swag, cue it. Do, 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 my name is Swag. Do, 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 hail Captain Cowboy. Do, 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 oh, oh yeah. Do, 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 give a little jazz. Thank you, Swag, and thank you all for watching. This is Captain Cowboy signing off.